and welcome back. There are just four days left until the launch of Eight Steps to Side Characters, How to Craft, Supporting Roles with Intention, Purpose and Power. Today I am talking about killing your darlings. Do you need to kill a darling? Rot someone, nice someone in their crown jewels. These things need doing. We're writers. It's fine. Not actually killing people. Calm down. There is a big mistake that I do see writers making when it comes to writing a character death. And that is not creating a consequence. What do I mean by consequence? Well, you can have a consequence in one of two ways. Number one, an emotional consequence. Maybe a character cries. Maybe they're just relieved that the person is dead. It doesn't matter what the emotional response is, but there does need to be one. One thing that is really good at creating like multi-layered characterization is having an unexpected reaction. Maybe your character is overly emotional normally. Well, okay, have them withdraw into themselves or perhaps you have them rage instead of cry. When you change a character's expected reaction in a situation that is overly emotional, it creates additional layering and makes the character more complex. And that's because humans are complex. We very rarely feel one emotion uh, solely on its own at any one time. The next type of consequence is a plot consequence. Maybe the character death makes things more difficult. Maybe it puts an obstacle or a barrier in the hero's way. Maybe the character that died was the only one who knew where the key was that unlocks the room with the, the knife of doom. Maybe the plot consequence is a positive one. Perhaps your characters have uh, removed a boundary. Maybe the character dying was what everybody needed. It doesn't matter what the consequence is, but you do need to have one. Something else to consider is the level or size of the consequence. If it's a minor character who the protagonist only knows a little bit, well, then, you know, a nod to the fact that they're dead is more than enough. If your side character is a huge part of your protagonist's life and then they die, like Gandalf, then it's going to have a big fucking consequence for them. Everybody's going to be gutted. It might demotivate them. It might create problems or barriers or make them afraid. So think about the proportion of the consequence as well as what the consequence is. If you would like to dive into more detail on this topic, I have a whole chapter or a whole step dedicated to this in the book, Eight Steps to Side Characters. You can get your copy anywhere. Li I mean, literally anywhere, any store, any, any shop, any store, you can get a copy. You can even get a copy direct from me and I'll sign it and make it pretty and send it to you. You can visit sashablack.co.uk forward slash store, or you can go on to any of the stores and order yourself a ebook or a paperback. I will be back tomorrow with another tip. Life of doom.